Roads are built for buses, cars, and trucks, not for people on bikes. This is where we belong. This is part of our city. We are doing more for the city and keeping it clean and breathable and livable than they are when they have one person in a big fat ass car. In North America, only 1% of us travel regularly by bicycle. We make most of our daily trips by car. Of those who do cycle, most do so for recreation. They could cycle to work, school, or the grocery store, at least some of the time, but they don't. The biggest obstacle in most people's minds to ride their bike is safety. They always say, I would bike, but I don't want to be in traffic. I would bike, but I'm afraid of cars. I would bike, but I don't want to be out where I'm exposed to danger. So we're not talking about just you know, making streets safer for cyclists. We're talking about making streets safer for everyone. In 1983, nearly half of Americans, young Americans, had driver's license. Today, it's 29%. These are profound shifts in a very, very short period of time. It's harder and harder to find an American city that is not prioritizing cycling. Cars don't own this city. It's a walker city, it's a bicyclist city, it's a combination of everything, and that's the way it has to be. And when we build infrastructure and a society based around where walking and biking and taking public transit is much easier and much more affordable and much more accessible and much more fun than riding a car, then we're gonna have a fabulous place to live.